Hi everyone, it's Chloe here and I'm the owner, maker and creator of Emmy Creations. Welcome back to my channel. Um, so I am currently in the process of just fulfilling some of the last few orders that I received while I was in Japan and also some of the new ones that just came through last week. Um, but the good thing is I'm almost done. I literally just have to pack them all up, um, pack some kits and also, I guess, process them and then deliver them to my local post office. But I'll probably do that tomorrow. Um, but yeah, so today I am going to be packing orders, um, also want to share with you guys some updated news on my kits as well. I'm currently in the process of updating them in a way. Um, so I've decided, I don't know if any of you have bought my kits or have you seen in my previous photos what my kit includes. But um, some of the changes that I'm adding is that rather than giving just a card with a QR code to send you to a pattern, I've actually decided to um, print the patterns um, and add a QR code to the printed pattern so that if you want the digital version as well, you can scan that QR code and save it to your files. Um, but yeah, so that's one of the changes. The other change that I am currently working on is actually video tutorials for my beginner kits because that is something that I always get asked um, by my um, by my buyers and they'll always ask me, do you have any tutorials to show us how to make it? Um, the, the pattern's great, but you know, I'm a visual learner. I would rather watch a video to learn rather than reading instructions. So I've been thinking for a long time, probably a whole year now, how I was going to do that transition. And it has to happen in phases, right? Because I can't just, I don't want to remove my patterns, work on it, and then put them back online. So the first phase was the um, printed patterns. Um, which I will show you later. Um, so it's the printer patterns and then phase two is doing those video tutorials and then uploading them onto my website, I think. And so anyone who buys my pattern, they will get a password access to those videos or maybe I will put it onto YouTube. I'll think about it. Um, YouTube, I feel like I want to do whole um, patterns. So I'm currently thinking of doing a video tutorial for my Louis the Bear, which is actually a free pattern on my website. Um, and so that's accessible, but I also have to update that pattern as well. So there's a lot happening in the background while I fulfill pattern, um, not patterns, fulfill orders. But yeah, there's heaps to do. So I will show you actually what those new um, instructions look like. I'm not going to show you the pattern because it is it is a paid pattern, but I will show you the gist of the design, I guess. I did spend the whole of last week, actually not the whole, um, I guess mornings of my last week um, updating and doing it all. So there's a lot of work that happens in the background that I don't really show you guys. Um, but yeah, I'll show you what the finished product looks like. And if you have any comments, just put them in the comments below and I definitely would love your suggestion on improvements. Um, but yeah, so I'll, I'll just whip the camera around. I'll just show you what I've done. Okay guys, so these are the ones that I folded just to see how it looks. But the general idea is this is one side and the other side is where the pattern is. And there is also a QR code which I won't flip over because like I said before, it is a paid pattern. But essentially I just printed it onto an A4 paper with a little message by me. Um, a photo of the pattern and some illustrated instructions teaching you how to crochet. Um, and then on the other side is, is the actual pattern. So um, that is how I've designed it. And I've done it for all my beginner sets. So they all arrived in the mail yesterday and I just opened them up today and I just folded them up um, to create these little mini pamphlets I guess but I made it so that it almost seems like a book so this is what it looks like folded up so you have the image of the pattern and then when you turn it around there's my little message to my beautiful um, buyers just letting them know um, you know thanking them for the support and also just letting them know not to share my pattern because it is an original design by me and then when you open it up it is 
there and then when you open it up again it is the pattern so when I designed this I actually had to do a mock-up um, and I don't know where I put that mock-up actually um, let me see let me just move around here hi mr. captain hi you want to say hello <laughs> He kept pressing the nom nom button today, so I think he's uh, quite full now. So just going to whip around here and just show you my mock-up. So this is a mock-up that I did before I designed all of that. And it's always important to do a mock-up just so that you know, you know, how you want your design or your pattern design to look in your kits if you're planning to design a kit. Um, and yeah, so it was very simple, very basic, but it was really important for me to do a mock-up first before I jumped onto the computer and did any work. Otherwise I would have just been, you know, doing stuff in the dark and I wouldn't, I would have wasted a lot of time. So by doing this mock-up, it made things a lot easier. And if you're wondering, I designed all of these through InDesign which is my preferred um, program to use to design my patterns. Um, and it just made the process very easy for me because I was working with a lot of grids and I was able to create a template, which I was able to use for all the designs, which also saved a lot of time. So if you remember, if you watched all my videos or if you haven't, um, if you go to my how to um, design patterns video I talk a lot about um, in well not a lot but I talk about InDesign and the reason why I use InDesign I think for memory I don't remember but that is my preferred option otherwise you can always use Canva for example which I'm sure has the same capability um, but probably not as many functions compared to InDesign so yeah so I created for um, these new designs for the beginner kits which are the smaller ones i also created one for my little silong bar which i actually have a made one right here so i have a kit for this guy as well but i'm currently just waiting um for those to arrive um and with this guy um, i've actually got new boxes for him as well because for this one he actually requires a little bit more yarn and which means the boxes I use are a little bit bigger and the ones that I usually use, which is that one, I'm starting to run low, but I actually have a lot of other boxes, which is right here. I'll just show you. So these are like pre-packed Hagal patterns. So I have a lot of these boxes left and these this is the size of the box that I use for the little Silong Bao and I have a stack of them right here <laughs> which is unopened and I have some in the wardrobe as well so I'm planning just to um, change it up a bit and just use these boxes for my little ceiling bar as you can see I have the sunny the sunflower here I've been trying to work on this guy for like half a year now and I am so delayed and behind with this guy um, I guess there were just a few things I wasn't happy about I just constantly kept trying to change it and also waiting for these boxes took a long time as well but they finally came um, but yeah honestly while I'm on the topic of these boxes I don't know if I will use these boxes again only because one it took so long two it's actually quite expensive um, and I just guess I just didn't have the patience to wait for the, the time frame. And also budget wise, I'm kind of trying to cut costs because there are things that are quite expensive now with inflation and everything. So um, there's a lot going on in the background in terms of finances and how I need to cut costs and save money where I can. Um, with that being said, with these guys... Um, I guess this is just more because my kits are actually one of my best sellers. I just want to improve it a little bit. But also with that being said, I am also planning to cut costs on these kits. Just probably removing any items that are definitely not necessary for these patterns. Because um, with these patterns, I also include... Um, what do I include? I also include some embroidery pins. And honestly, you don't really need them for this kit. So... That is probably one thing. Um, the project bags, I'm planning to update my packaging from the boxes to some craft bags instead. 
But I don't know. It's all up in the air right now and I'm just letting you guys know um, what I'm thinking. But this is stage one of my update on my kits, which I'm really happy about and I'm really excited about as well. So I just rambled a little bit about my little kit update and also moved around a little bit. So hopefully I didn't cause any motion sickness. But um, yeah, so there's been a lot happening since last week so this week I just need to focus on fulfilling my orders which I'll be done today and then I hopefully can start designing some new patterns which I'm actually really excited about to share with you guys um I actually want to show you the process of me designing at least once um it's a long process so I don't know how long that particular video will be but um Today is purely just about packaging orders and I guess, yeah, just a lot of packaging. <laughs> so I guess I should really just get started. <laughs> So just while I'm packaging, I thought I might just talk to you about some of the new things that I have as well. Um, so first things first is I have some new tissue paper, which actually is printed by Vistaprint. I can't really show that one. I'll show this one. Um, and it basically just has my logo and my business name on it. So Emmy Creations by Chloe. So I was able to design my own tissue paper and I am in love with them right now. The other thing that's happening at the moment as well is that I am trying to remove a lot of the plastics in my packaging. So one of them are the Ziploc bags. So right now I still have some of these Ziploc, the clear Ziploc bags Um at home so I'm just trying to use them all up but I'm slowly transitioning to this Ziploc bag which is a compostable bag um, and basically you just you can just put it in your with your compost or you can just chuck it in the bin and it will slowly decompose over time so I'm slowly transitioning to these kind of bags I'm also um, with this one this is the very last one that I have of this type of plastic um, in the future because this is for my little seal and bar. What I'm going to do in the future is I'm going to put the stuffing into the project bags instead of putting the yarn and all the little bits and pieces in here. So I'll just put the stuffing in the bag and that way it removes this bit of plastic. But this is the last bag that I have for this type. So I won't be purchasing any more of these. But I just, right now I am using um, these compostable Ziploc bags instead of the typical plastic bags that I still have a few remaining. So um, that is another thing that's changing with my packaging for my kits uh, because I've had comments stating, you know, everything is great but the packaging. Um, and, you know, I... I don't usually take things to heart too much, but then when it comes to environment, I really do think about it. And also, it is one of the things that I had um, that I want to change for 2023. It was one of my goals at the beginning of the year to remove as many plastic items in my packaging. And this is a start for me. Um, the other thing that I'm changing is, so right now... Uh, let me just find it. So also right now I am using, excuse me, these cellophane bags to place my toys in. Um, but I recently just made an order to replace the cellophane bags with um, these kind of bags. So I don't know if you can see it. Um, and the reason being is because these are probably much more reusable 
as well so these are just ones that i <laughs> just found at home so it's too big uh, it's too small sorry to fit my toys so i've just purchased some larger sizes so that i can put my toys into these bags instead of the plastic ones and at least when i place the toy in and the reason why i want to use the clear plastic bags at the beginning is because i wanted people to see the toys um but then obviously well i can't fit the whole horse in but obviously with these um these bags you can still see the toy inside and it's also re reusable so i'm just replacing all the plastic right now in my packaging and just replacing it with more reusable and and, and environment environmentally friendly uh options so that's also happening in the background so uh, there's a lot of thinking that's going into this and i'm obviously making sure that i'm not paying more for this new type of packaging as well and these new type of bags um so i did do a lot of research prior to making these these changes but you know that's one of my goals this year and i am slowly working towards that goal so hopefully by the end of the year i will have zero plastic in my packaging uh with that being said there will still be items that are made of plastic such as um the stitch markers which are plastic and well with my hooks it's a rubber grip so so I don't want to change that either. So yeah, so that is another little update in regards to my kits as well, which is the phase one of my kit update process. Um, another thing, I just realized that all my kits are sold out. I thought I still had a few left, but because there were a few orders placed over the weekend and through last week, they are, oh, my hair is all messy. But anyways, they are sold out so i have already made an order of extra um, items to come in and i'm just hoping that it will arrive probably next week so that i can you know stock up again but i just had no idea that i was running low on stock i i've just been so busy that i haven't been checking my stock and Today, when I'm packaging, I just realized, oh goodness, I only have one kit left that is available. So, if anyone who is waiting for a kit, you might have to wait a couple of weeks. But the good news is, the new kits will have the new pattern instructions in them. The kits today won't because I'm just using up my old uh, cards with the QR codes. But, um, yeah, so <laughs> I really, I'm really really hoping that my my stock and my supply will arrive soon so that I can stock up on those kits because I know um, checking on Etsy a few people have them in their carts and and yeah I I really hope they don't have to be waiting too long for for the new for the new um, supply of items to come so yeah anyways I'm gonna keep packaging because I have not done that much I think <laughs> I'm gonna keep packaging
so one other thing that I do as well for my business is that I also offer gift wrapping and I probably have never really spoken about it but at the very beginning uh, when I first started my business people kept asking about gift wrapping and and I just thought, you know what, maybe I'll just offer that service. Obviously, they have to pay a little bit extra for the gift wrapping. But I don't mind doing it because I enjoy gift wrapping things. Um, and also with the gift wrapping, you can get a choice of um, one of these. You can choose between this one, which is Dim somebody say it's your bow day, or dim somebody say yum cha, or love everything about you. <laughs> so there's a little bit of puns, a few little puns there that um, I just created, and just create little cards to to go with um, the dim sum kits and also the toys. Um, and those cards are actually one of my best sellers, actually. So you can you don't have to buy a toy to get the card. You can actually purchase the cards individually as well. Um, but yeah, that was just something that I added to my store, you know, at the beginning of this year because I just wanted to add a little bit of personalization, I guess, to, to some of the kits. Because a lot of people do buy the kits as gifts for friends, like this person here. They bought four kits. And three of the four kits are presents. So I'm just going to wrap it up for them. And hopefully when it arrives, everyone will be quite happy with um, the gift. And also the gift wrapping that I've put a bit of effort into um, wrapping. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm just going to try and get this done and that this is my last order for the day which is great so once I'm done gift wrapping I am going to process the orders in the background um like it's because away from away from the camera because I don't want any of my buyer's details to accidentally appear in my videos um, because of privacy reasons. So I'm just going to finish this off and then I'll see what I'll do after this. Not quite sure yet. I haven't really decided. I thought I was going to design, but I'm not really in that design mood, if you know what I mean. I might just make some toys from other designers. <laughs> I'm just, I don't know, not, not, not that I'm not bothered about designing today. Um, I guess I have to be in the mood to be designing. Because if I'm not in the mood to design, the designs come out not as nice or I don't like it as much. Um, so I might just make some toys from other designers so I can sell them at my next market maybe. Um, rather than sitting around doing nothing because chances are if I'm not in the mood to design I'm just going to probably stare at a blank piece of paper for two hours or something and that will be two hours gone which I don't want so yeah I do is that <clears throat> I always um, reuse any shipping items that I receive like boxes or um, some fillers 
only because I like to recycle things. So this is, I think this box should fit these items. I don't think I have any other box. That's why. So I think this is a good size box to fit all these kits in. It's a nice solid box as well. So, and I also have some fillers to use just to fill in the spaces. A bit of a game of Tetris actually. Just trying to figure out what's the best way to do this. There we go. That's better. That's better. There we go. Fun game of Tetris. Um, oops. Um, so just. So I always reuse boxes that I receive um, from orders that I make, like from Amazon or for any of my supplies because this means I also save money on these kind of items as well. Okay, so I packed... All my orders, I'm just going to process these guys now in the background, but I might actually just call it a day for this video. Um, but after processing, I'm just going to work on a toy that I've been wanting to work on by another designer, only because I'm not in the designing mood today, as I said before. So maybe tomorrow will be my designing day and I can get started on designing some new toys to share with you guys but I think I'm just going to just you know take it easy today I think but I hope you guys enjoyed this little vlog um, today um, if you have any comments or questions don't forget to leave them in the comments below and also if you enjoyed this video don't forget to give me a like and also subscribe to my channel for some uh, fun little content that I've actually planned out for the rest of the year so hopefully I'll be able to um, get those done so I can share with you guys but otherwise I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you all have a great day and I'll see you all very soon. Bye.